We have just seen uh, the nitro group as an example of an electron withdrawn group by resonance. But not only the nitro group can behave as an electron withdrawn group by resonance. Basically, any group that has a multiple bond between the atom that's directly attached to the benzene ring and another heteroatom such as nitrogen or oxygen. Let's take um, carbonyl compounds. So if you take this general structure for phenyl ketones, if you look careful at this structure, you would notice that there is a carbon oxygen uh, double bond. Recall the nitro group. There was a nitrogen oxygen double bond, and you can see the connection now. Okay, if you break this carbon carbon double bond to make a double bond here, like this, you would break this carbon oxygen uh, double bond, and obviously, that's because oxygen is an electronegative atom. Now, this would give us another resonance uh, form as a result of this withdrawal of, of electrons. Now, we could see that that carbon, as a result, carries a positive, a positive charge. So there is, the, the, therefore, resonance withdrawal in this um, uh, phenyl ketone. That's because such compounds have a carbon-oxygen uh, uh, double bond. Oxygen is more electronegative. Um, than carbon. So that's like the driving force behind this resonance withdrawal or behind withdrawal of electrons by the electronegative atom that is oxygen. You can continue to delocalize electrons in the same manner that we did before. So we break that carbon-carbon uh, double bond and now we make a double bond uh, here between this carbon and the positively charged carbon to get something like like this, and now in this resonance form, the positive charge is on that on that carbon. We can continue to get another resonance form by breaking that carbon-carbon double bond, and now making a, a, a double bond between that carbon and the positively charged carbon on this. On this form, if we do that, we get an additional one. So that form or that resonance form is therefore obtained, that form that has a positive charge on this carbon. So this is an example, therefore, of another electron withdrawn group by by resonance. So ketones or carbonyl groups are electron withdrawn groups by by resonance. We have also to mention that oxygen is being more electronegative. It withdraws electrons toward itself in this carbon oxygen um, uh, double bond. So therefore there is also remote inductive withdrawal, but that reinforces the resonance with withdrawal by elect of electrons by the by the carbonyl by the carbonyl group. Let's now take another example in order to illustrate this electron withdrawal ability um, uh, by by resonance by taking this time uh, cyanobenzene. So this is the cyan group. In the cyan group, there's a triple bond between carbon and nit nitrogen. But this is also a strong electron withdrawing group by resonance. So how does it do that? Well, we do exactly what we did before. So you break that carbon, carbon double bond. You make a double bond here. And as a result, one of these pi bonds is, is broken. If we do that, then we get something like, like this.
And as a result, that carbon has lost its electron shell and therefore it must, it must carry a positive charge. You can continue with writing more resonance forms in, in the same manner that we did, we did before. So the Ciani group is also an electron withdrawn group by, by resonance. Okay, so what's required therefore is basically a multiple bond, whether it's double or triple between the first atom that's directly attached to the benzene ring and another, another atom. And the other atom must be a heteroatom. It must be more electronegative than the atom that's attached directly to the benzene ring. In this case, nitrogen obviously is more electronegative than carbon. In this carbon, nitrogen. Uh, triple bond. Oxygen is more electronegative than, than, than carbon. So there is a carbon oxygen double bond, a carbon heteroatom double bond, there is a carbon heteroatom triple bond. In the nitro group, there was a nitrogen oxygen double bond, a nitrogen another heteroatom uh, double bond. The other heteroatom is more electronegative than, than nitrogen. So in all of these cases, resonance withdrawal is, is possible. Not only in nitrobenzene and in phenyl ketones or, or benzene rings with an acyl group or a carbonyl group or in cyanobenzene, basically any benzene ring that has a double bond between the atom that's directly attached to the benzene and another atom. You take, for example, benzene sulfonic acid, just, uh, just like um, an additional, additional one. So, so this is benzene sulfonic acid, so SO3. H. So you can see that there is um, uh, sulfur oxygen uh, double bonds and there are, there are two of them. So that's enough. This, the presence of a multiple bond or this double bond between sulfur and oxygen entitles, if you like, this sulfonic unit to behave as an electron withdrawing group by resonance. So again, in summary of this, an electron withdrawing group by resonance must have a multiple bond between an atom and another atom which is more electronegative for that heteroatom to be like the driving force behind the resonance withdrawal.